Good Thursday morning and happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Thursday, March 17th, 2022 here in Bellows Falls, Vermont. This science update begins with a paper published in Business Insider on March 9th, 2022 with the headline, Adapt or Die. It's too late to prevent climate chaos, warn the le world's leading scientists. It's time to focus on survival. That's a pretty gloomy headline. You can find a link to this paper and to the peer-reviewed article I'm going to mention at GuyMcPherson.com, coincident with the release of this video. The paper in Business Insider focuses on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's latest report, on which I commented with a video posted in this space on March 3rd, 2022. My video was titled, Science Update, IPCC's Bleakest Warning Yet. Reading this paper in Business Insider requires a subscription, so I subscribed. You're welcome. The bottom line from the Business Insider paper in its summary of the IPCC report, it's too late to prevent climate chaos. Those days are long behind us. Instead, we must focus on the miserable survival of a few humans as Earth loses habitat for human animals. There is no mention, of course, of the loss of aerosol masking causing even more rapid planetary overheating of this planet. Oh, and there's also no mention of more than 400 nuclear facilities melting down, thereby causing the stripping away of stratospheric ozone. In other words, the article in Business Insider expectedly ignores two likely causes of human extinction and therefore the extinction of all life on Earth. One, the stunningly rapid overheating as the planet loses aerosol masking. And two, stripping away, away of the stratospheric ozone that protects us from rapid sunburn. I've mentioned each of these two videos as separate causes of human extinction in my video series titled Means of Extinction. Let's go now to the Business Insider paper called Adapt or Die, It's Too Late to Prevent Climate Chaos, Warn, warn the World's Leading Scientists, It's Time to Focus on Survival. Here's the lead. Delay means death. That's the message of the most recent United Nations report on climate change, according to the UN Secretary General. The 3,700 page report is intended to serve as a wake up call, driving home the severity of the climate crisis, and is yet another reminder that this decade will be a make or break period for weaning the world off fossil fuels. Really, this decade, make or break? I've heard that for several decades now. And we have, we've had a make or break situation with respect to burning fossil fuels going back a oh, hundred years or so. So that's 10 decades. But this is the real one? Well, it's good to know. The Business Insider paper goes on in the second paragraph. Even if the world stopped emitting carbon tomorrow, it's already too late to stop those uh, these unprecedented transformations. Yes, it is. So the recommendations from the Business Insider paper Build a better power grid because, you know, we can't be expected to sacrifice anything. We must have electricity on demand in every home at every minute. So one, build a better power grid. Two, use mother nature to our advantage. Oh, this is a new idea. Using mother nature to our advantage has been the complete description of every civilization so far. That's what we do. We exploit nature. We turn virgin forests into bricks and mortar and, and lumber with which to build our cities and therefore continue exploiting nature. <sighs> Solution number three, breed hardier crops and give cows some shade. I think they mean cattle, give cattle some shade. But in any event, talk about minor recommendations. Fourth, prepare for the next pandemic, whereas I think that's a great idea. I don't think it's going to save us from climate change. After all, increased industrial activity is a primary driver leading us to human extinction. Move people to less risky areas. Well, that's already happening, and I suspect it will continue to happen. And I don't think it's any sort of solution. Moving out of the way? is just a human response to an incredibly dangerous situation. So, yes, we're going to keep doing that. 
On the topic of survival, let's turn to a peer-reviewed paper in the January 28th, 2022 issue of Journal of Applied Physiology. The paper is titled, Evaluating the 35 degrees C wet bulb temperature adaptability threshold for young healthy subjects. And then in parentheses, PSU heat project. It was authored by Daniel J. Vitalio and three other scholars. Again, links to both of these papers can be found at guymcpherson.com, coincident with the release of this video. Here's the bottom line from the abstract. In summary, a wet bulb temperature threshold cannot be applied to human adaptability across all climatic conditions and where appropriate, high humidity, that threshold is well below 35 degrees C. That's the final sentence from the abstract. And then in a section titled New and Noteworthy, the overall description of this paper is presented. This study is the first to use empirical physiological observations to examine the well-publicized theoretical 35 degrees C wet bulb temperature limit for humans to extreme environments. We find that uncompensable heat stress in human, humid environments occurs in young healthy adults at wet bulb temperature significantly lower than 35 degrees C. In addition, uncompensable heat stress occurs at widely different wet bulb temperatures as a function of ambient vapor pressure. Bottom line, that 35 degrees C mark that we've heard with respect to wet bulb temperatures being lethal is way too liberal. If we take a more conservative approach, we come up with far lower numbers, even with very healthy young individuals. So, as I've come to expect at this point, climate scientists have underestimated the impacts of what we've done so far on human survival, not to mention our well-being. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing to the channel. If you subscribe, feel free to click the bell so you'll be notified about future videos. Feel free to share this video, become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly, though, thanks for watching.